There it goes. Sorry, my mic was being troublesome. No, it's fine. It's just I remember you just came in. I like screamed, "Hola, cómo estás?" and then you left. <laughs> that that's what it from my end it 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 was like. Okay, well, I didn't hear a single thing. <laughs> gotcha. But no, hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm. I, I was never good at Spanish, and my brain is not. I'm here. Liking that idea right now. Oh no, you chill, you chill. Can you hear me? <laughs> we can. Yep. That's one way to put it. Okay. Gotta get the cans of soup. Gotta get the cans. Can you hear me? Yep, we can. Yes, yay! I couldn't hear you earlier. Uh, I don't know why. I think I know that my my camera has a speaker on it and a mic. Yeah, most most cameras do. Uh, they just aren't that great. One of these days, especially, like, next year, if I do move in with, um, like, Mary and everything, I'm definitely going to have, like, a full, like, actual setup where I can just, like, make things work. Mm -hmm. Like, have a camera that, like, has a mic, and not just, like, is has a mic, but, like, connected through it, uh, but a professional mic. Um, I might even use, like, the freaking Blackmagic camera, just have it permanently set up as a webcam, essentially. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. I don't even know all the names of the gadgets you have anymore. You have a lot. I have a black magic. I have a, um, I have, I, I think it's a road. Yeah, it's a road. Um, let's see. I mean, I, I have some booms, but I mean, those are just, you know, booms. Mm -hmm. Uh, some lobs. Um, I have, I think about four of those now. No, three, three of those. You, you don't have to list your inventory for me. I will never remember. Oh, no. It's, I don't even know it's, what some of those things are. What's a lob? Uh, That's it's the clip-on mic, right? Yes, it is a clip-on mic. Okay, this. see? I wouldn't have known that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Star said that they... They did say that they weren't a. Well, they might be able to come today. We just gonna get on with it anyways. She said they won't. Okay, they won't. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Like right up above. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. I, I know it was a maybe, but yeah. Cool. Okay. I guess we're all here then. Sweet. So, when last we left our heroes, you had made your way, <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit ago. I'm sorry, it was an oh shit moment too, because we were leaving just as the white dragon was chasing our asses. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what was, we're doing a what what? White dragon, don't you remember? I, don't, I wasn't here. Well, it wasn't a white dragon specifically. I heard the words white and dragon at some point. I guess I meshed it together. Um, well, when, when last we left our heroes, you had escaped from uh, the Echo Demi Plane uh, into the keep Finally. of... Yes. Of <laughs> Speaker Rin and Azarakos. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, now I remember. Did we have a session last week? No. 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 Okay. That makes much because... more sense. I was like, I wasn't here last week. Are we fighting a white dragon now? Uh, yeah, I don't know where she got white dragon from. See, I'm pulling shit out of nowhere. Yeah. Sorry, continue, Angie. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and upon making your way out of uh, that realm, uh, the understanding was that you needed to flee your settlement immediately because they were being hunted by a dragon who had been able to catch on to their presence and location. <laughs> At least the dragon part was accurate. Maybe the white, not so much. Um, upon which afterwards, uh, having collected some horses, 
you fled the city and saw it all basically the horses. yes all of the horses <laughs> in the city uh you saw and, that and place being very uh undescript of like hey have, have you ever seen a dragon before mm -hmm. <laughs> um and from there you saw that the entire city was enveloped in sort of streaks of light that shone from a central figure kind of up in the sky that began to kind of begin no. probing around the area well uh, away from where you were riding but catching up at some points and seeming to think inside of your heads to try and figure out who you were and where you were going um making your way around past that you reached the city of uh red rock wait was it red rock um, no you did not go there you went Brown. to bone grove sorry i didn't have the right map pulled up um you went to bone grove uh a city of uh well the individuals that you met there are they, they seem to be humanoid in all ways but they are kind of silver plated um and it's sort of an amorphous silver so it's sort of a little bit flowy um but you were arriving at dusk and they were uh said that they will let you stay the night but in order to stay longer than that you have to meet with their lawmaster to kind of prove your case of why you should stay especially if you were being chased by a dragon ah. <laughs> so it wasn't a white dragon correct okay, okay and you did actually get um a name from the villagers as they said that they weren't a huge fan of this individual either uh the name being dromage okay They, they, they were recognizing the golden light patterns that were flying around Oakencross. Mm. So with all that said, you do all gain a long rest if you need it. Oh, did, did we? Yay, do I need to apply? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it just in case I didn't. Fair enough. We're all I level 4, I'm correct? Good. Correct. Uh. Yeah. Or level three and one, technically for me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Okay. I always forget I'm a multi class until I like grab my character sheet again. <laughs> okay. So as morning approaches, um, you find yourselves resting in a local inn. Uh, it's cool. a small two-story. Oh, sorry. Oh, I said it's cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, small two-story in. Um, seems to be kind of partially made of wood and partially carved into the mountainside itself. Um, a lot of the buildings have that sort of, um, sort of like a desert-style, um, pueblo-style accommodation where it's either entirely carved into the side of the mountain face or like partially with a wooden exterior down to a sort of dustier road that kind of inter that snakes its way through town um as you're waking up the sunlight is kind of streaming through your windows and due to kind of a small mirage effect that happens with this slight valley near bone grove it almost seems like there is a second sun kind of even further Ooh. out as it reflects down into a small pool of water and then back out in the other direction so just in the mornings you can kind of it, it's kind of easier to get lost in this area as refraction is weird um <laughs> Okay, so um, you find you're able to make your way down, get food, water, anything you need, uh, if you would like it. Um, but there are a couple of sentinels who are standing outside the door, uh, ready to meet you should you head outside. 
Okay. Uh, um, okay. So w we can't leave. They barring our way. Um. Generally, yes. The, the, more in that they came to collect you when you are. Oh. Up and ready. Up. Okay. <laughs> I guess we leave after we've taken care of business this morning. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Uh, that it's bed was kind beautiful. of nice. I mean, compared to the desert sand we've been sleeping on, it's pretty nice. Yeah? Everything seems like an improvement I would assume. Are you doing that on purpose? What was that catch? I said anything is an improvement okay. uh, from before. Okay. You've yeah. got a filter, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I might have to turn you up. Oh, I can, I can, uh, how's this? That's better. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Hello, yeah. I am Kitch. That is my name. Um, does this sound okay? I haven't been able to experiment. Too much. I like it, actually. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I sound more catch-like? You do! I'm going to be honest, you sound kind of like the serial killer in Jackbox's murder trivia oh, party. murder <laughs> mystery party! Oh. Hello! I don't know Thanks if that's what you're going for, but... Me and Today we're going to be playing some so. numbers. <laughs> you do. You really do. Hold on, I want to, I want to check this. Sorry. Okay, so uh, these individuals will kind of uh, meet you at the door and they will bring you to kind of a center point of the town, which is a larger, taller building, um, okay. sort of cathedral-esque, but there, is, there seems to be much more of a focus on law than any sort of religion or religious practices or anything um but it is still kind of slightly gothic but 100 percent made out of wood uh, as this is a freestanding building um there are no windows in any of these places but uh there are like large holes and such for light to shine in and some of it's braced up with different pieces of wood um nonetheless uh, you are brought inside and it, the area is seats uh, like a courtroom where there is a sort of large kind of like podium meets desk area uh, where several individuals kind of sit and keep track of notes and pass books and information between each other. Once again, all of them uh, generally humanoid, all of whom with the uh, slightly slightly uh i'm trying to think of the right word it's sort of like a non-newtonian silver uh skin uh all of whom with um kind of a very light blue paint they, kind of across their kind face of shiny is that is that what you're trying to say they're kind of shiny right but it almost but it also kind of looks like like a little bit of a bubble like it'll pulsate at different points and so there's areas where it's like clearly plated but at the same time there is some movement within just the silver gotcha yeah it's okay. it's a little hard to describe but <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the shiny away from that and that's all i got it is shiny yeah, they shiny. are shiny people um and they're and each one of them has a uh, light blue paint kind of on across their faces uh, down on parts of their chest or whatever they're showing. Um, sort of like that, but it, it doesn't go pointy. Okay. I see this. <laughs> um, and as you approach uh, one of them, uh, who's kind of sitting in the center desk, uh, you s look up to them and they don't have a face. 
but as you approach it kind of begins to kind of morph out of the silver and a couple of lips begin to pop out and a nose and so they, they appear even more humanoid as you approach okay. wow, that's a nifty trick um hello um i'm subaki greetings yes agra hello catch hello how, how are you quite well uh welcome to the city of bone grove Uh, so, uh, so what's up? Uh, we wanted, uh, you, you kind of came at an interesting point yesterday as... Yeah, we kind of do that. We just wanted to understand your case, understand where you were coming from, and perhaps if you had yeah. any specific business here that we might need to keep under oh. control or keep have understanding of as I far as law I don't officials. remember where we came from <laughs> um uh Rin will kind of question. Stick, since there are others with you oh go ahead yeah. question uh, no don't no, go ahead uh Rin will speak up and he's like uh we come from oak and cross uh, yes we come from oak and cross um uh, I come with my ward and our warden. Uh, we carry with us a tower that holds a great deal of research that we have been divining from sources within Erengar. Uh, we do not bring with us any trouble or implications with any sort of laws. Okay. And just kind of, he kind of pauses. And the judicator, the judicar, sorry, that's their title. That's that's their title. Um, the judicar kind of stands up and is like, "If you were coming uh, with no intention of harm or of the sort, why was the dromage after you?" What what's the dromage? That's the dragon. Oh, okay, okay. Um, we don't know why it was after us. All we know that is we popped up and it got pissed off. That's it. Might have something to do with the fact that we crossed over from a different place. I don't think it's after us specifically, but it's after Zarkas and Rin. We, we happen had to be a slight security compromise a while back where some of the mages believed us to be collecting information and funneling it back to private sources. Um, we were looking into, among many things, uh, the Orth initiatives that were going on in Erengar. And mm -hmm. some of the discoveries that uh, Archmage Leamont and Bucknard were returning with. Okay. Um... We found some inconsistencies in their data as well as other phrases that showed up multiple times and warranted some more investigation. Okay. Uh, this information drew eyes upon us that were unwelcome and we were and even though we were unable to find or corroborate any sort of information from our sources they like to keep tabs and keep an eye on us uh oh okay um okay uh do I know what we're supposed to be doing? Because I, I feel like we've said a lot of things and I'm lost. 
We're just trying to convince the the people to let us stay. Oh. Despite the fact oh, oh, that oh, okay, we, okay. we have... Okay, can we stay? <laughs> I think... If you say yes or no, I'll be okay with that. I think we can allow you uh, to remain here. Our city I is not... I think that's as close to a yes as we're gonna get, guys. Our city is not particularly aligned with the mages. And... The one who is peeking into you... Oh, watch have, your eyes, buddy. They have a little bit of um, in a, mood. a history with us that we are um, not over. Oh. They got beef with you guys? <laughs> As they were scouring their land, oh. they enjoyed hunting, peeking around, looking in places where they didn't go and sometimes that included us ah uh, well mm. uh that's not nice um is there anything we can do for you actually to, yes to help there we go hey yep i'm like I'm like, there should be either someone asking a question, or, or, or I, I, I don't know. Uh, this community makes itself, uh, the majority of our income in mining. Okay. Hmm? Do you need us to go mine something, or clear something out, or? We I... had a bit of an incursion recently in one of our northernmost mines that has left left our work a little bit undone we'd be interested if perhaps a few of you would be able to wow head in there you're, and take care of it and we'll make sure you us, have you're full accommodation a generic quest andrew it's so unusual i'm sorry it's just <laughs> we're going to go clean out of mine <laughs> i'm sorry just <laughs> Hey God, let's see what's in that mine first. <laughs> it, it could be drivers. I know. It could, I know. It I'm, could probably, be I'm probably getting ahead of myself. It's like, wow, is he really just gonna go get let us clean out a mine and come back? I doubt it. But still, <laughs> sounds sounds like a good plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. So, um... Sounds reasonable sounds to me. Sounds good to us. Just point out the location to us and, uh, ca catch you in? I am more than in, I would say, yes. Um, I like the I other one before do not this. Like. Oh, I, I don't like, like this, this one. I do not like this one at all. <laughs> you sound like a weird, creepy Frenchman. You do not like the weird, creepy no. Frenchman? <laughs> 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 Go back to the other one, thank you. Um, I just have one request or question, I suppose, before we set out. Okay. Absolutely. Is there a place in town where I could buy a longbow in exchange for some materials I have on me? I think I will uh, go with this for now then. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's a small short. Oh, yeah. uh, there's a small store uh, down towards the end of the street here. Uh, they should be able to help get you all equipped up. With okay. Anything Perfect. Anything. We really don't have any money. This is like the first time I've ever been on a on a D and D campaign where making money was not a priority at all. Uh, question: What number are you sitting at? What? What? How many gold do you have? I've got one gold and forty silver. Zero. I have, I have uh, nine gold. That was what was in my case when I left the bar to go save you. Hey, maybe you look through. If you know which coin is the one that attracted the thing, maybe toss that away. If you have it already. Uh, I was about to say, didn't 
we get a bag of gold from the one guy? We gave it back, didn't we? It was a bag of it was a bag of platinum, we gave it back. Let's go ask for some platinums. I mean equipping ourselves to do tasks for them would be a good reasonable thing, I think. Sure. Okay. So uh, we uh, go over to the guys and be like, "Hey, uh, can you can you spot us a little coin?" Please. Uh, go ahead and roll me a diplomacy check. Diplomacy. Uh, do I have that? Charisma. Char- oh. Psh- just plain charisma? Unless you have proficiency in diplomacy. I mean, I got proficiency in charisma. So. My charisma. Yeah, that, that should work. I got a 10? Okay. Uh, they are willing to put a little bit of money down so that you can um there it's not perhaps as much as you would like but uh, whatever i mean we considering we have nothing we'll make do with what we got so okay they'll put 10 gold yeah. down for you uh, for each of us or just for just the party me? party <laughs> So if we oh. got stuff we can sell, do you know how many stuff from the face spiders we got? That's true, we do have some things. Okay, alright. I do not have a lot of things, personally. I uh, do have the... Uh, the shards, I suppose. Yeah, we got the spider's blood. We got gallons of spider's blood, guys. <laughs> that is good. I do not believe I was the one collecting any of that. Yeah, I have a lot of it on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I know where the list of that is? I. It would be in your inventory yeah. if uh, if you mark <laughs> no, it down. No, 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 there was a list on Discord for everything. Right. It would be pretty far up to history, and that's just a party total. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. I'm probably like the only one who kept track of how much I was harvesting. Uh, I I didn't harvest anything, so I didn't keep track of it. I, um, I didn't come in from the, end from of the, the harvest, list of so. stuff into the chat. There's two glowworms, uh, one veermile, a vial of faith. That's a different list. Blood. That's a different uh, list. Yeah. List. Dang. That's the Larry list. Oh, gotcha. Keep going. Um, yeah, I'm not sure then. Um, it is, is in here. Is it in general? Is it in campaign info? It, it's, there we go. 45 blood vials, That's 5 awesome. hides, yep. 5 points of vials, 2 ethereal spindles, and 11 safe to eat mushrooms. This is how much the party has, and I know my own total of what I and have. And right above that, there's a handy dandy gold comparison to what each thing is worth. Yeah. So shall we go to the store? Yeah, we're we're gonna yeah yeah we 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 can do that. Is that Mila? Yes, she's being all antsy. <laughs> Mom brought her in and she wants to go back out and stuff. Be nice, Mila. Okay. To the store! Sorry, I'm. There it is. I, I misplaced the thing and I also forgot to put the Albear Rodeo link in the chat. So let me. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna send me the pre- it to the present day messages, so I 
linked back to where the components were. Okay, so. Yeah. As you kind of follow uh, the Judicar's instructions to find uh, this location, you're, you are able to, they seem to be open. The individual there uh, who is kind of sitting behind the counter, uh, um, they are, they seem to be uh, presenting female. Uh, they have uh, what seems to be long hair kind of up in a bun at the top of their head. Um, once again, all silver, um, clothing kind of uh, around it, uh, all around them, um, but with the blue paint uh, kind of forming two lines and two dots under each of their eyes uh, with small slash marks down from uh, in the middle of it. Uh, they wear along their uh, torso a sort of leather strap that has several small vials and then also uh, again more paint with symbols across uh, that strap okay um so yeah as you enter they kind of see you pr approaching from the outside and call to you uh with, hello hello welcome uh through the door since no windows um but you are able to enter in there's a small bell that rings off uh in the inside as you approach uh the counter of the area is a large just it, it's all made of wood there's lots of different boxes and bins right uh all behind them um they do have some uh they do have some sheathed swords and weapons some daggers here and there they have some uh vials in different uh holders and all sorts of different uh, plants that seem to be growing. Several of them seem to be either wilting in this, uh, in the warmth of oh. the area, but nonetheless, the store is yours. Yeah, we own okay. this store now. No. Great. Okay, everyone, uh... let's get up. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Be no, careful no, no, the no, stipulations no, no, you no, give no. us. We will take advantage every time. Oh, I know, but that's 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 uh, part of the fun of it. It's like, oh, you can't take it back now. She's oh. right here, mom. Okay, time to do the fantasy tax codes. <laughs> ah. Okay, so this is a small business making this much gold per year. Uh, there's a percent interest tax to. Oh God. Uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. Um. <laughs> We're just here to buy stuff. <laughs> I'd like to for a longbow and some arrows, please. Longbow and some arrows. Uh, we do have this one here that uh, we were able to collect. Um, uh, she kind of reaches up behind her and pulls down a bow. It is a very kind of fainter beech wood with a... Uh, dark streak down its center, uh, recurve to the side, the ends curling inward a little bit more than usual, um, but the string, but uh, strung pretty tightly, it seems, though perhaps with a little bit more skill and practice, it could be done a little bit better, a little bit stronger. Um, okay. The handle itself seems a little bit dusty, and they do have a quiver of five arrows with it. Mm. Um, shouldn't we negotiate prices for our goods first? Because we actually have no money. We just got a loan! Of ten coins. Ten gold coins. And we, uh, wouldn't, shouldn't we, like, haggle with them for... Here's how it goes. Oh. I'm going to set down my, my um, let's see, what do I want to set down? My two vials of face biter poison. Okay. Um. What, uh, what is this? I, we, we don't usually see, well, actually, I do deal with bits of the murky green stuff, but I, I haven't seen this specific consistency that's a weird way to describe that, shopkeeper. 
It's, would, um, would you like... It's Astral Spider Venom. Huh. A cereal. Huh. Uh, would you be able to... Oh, point. Uh, where, where, where did you come across this? This is fascinating. In a land far, far away from here. That is indescribable, and we do not want to talk about it. It is a topic of... Uh, ill. It's not a comfortable topic. For us. <laughs> yes. Say no more. Okay. Uh, so vials of venom. Interesting. We also happen to have hide blood and spindles as well. I have one of the eyes. Oh, you have an eye. Oh. Okay. I'm here. Let me go and make some is... checks. <laughs> See if they know, I know the value this is of it. Odd. Yeah, I'm not much of a carver type, but are they rolling good? Okay, yeah, and that one's not, but that's okay. I I can take some of this off of your hands, I suppose. Um, um, if we could just exchange it for what what we want, at least that would be great. That would be great. Yes. Uh, okay, I would be more than happy to um to work with you on that. So this hide here, it's a bit damaged. It's it seems to be in pretty decent shape here. It could be used as a bit of a leather substitute. Really quick mending. <laughs> Okay. Does that work on hide? I don't know. Um, I think in theory it would. I'm willing to say that it can for this scenario. Dope. Okay. There we go. Higher quality already. Um. Ooh, that's a that's a neat little trick you have there. Um, I think I can get some. Yeah. I'll, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and take one of these. Uh. We, we could do one of these hides and I can get you your bow here. That's great. Excellent. And they will kind of uh, take the hide off of the counter and pass you over the bow and the quiver. Um, what else I've... do you have around here? Uh, we have all sorts of short swords, daggers, a couple darts, um, if you come back in a couple weeks, we might be able to make something with that hide there and have a small piece of armor ready. Okay, cool. That would be cool. Uh, we do have various light bits of armor. Um, nothing super, nothing super hard, uh, hardy or something like very steely. Uh, thankfully, we're uh, already quite good with that. Um, Any potions or is this not that kind of shop? Uh, we have a couple that are uh, from the last uh, group of people who came through here. Um, one moment. Uh, let me go ahead and pull those out from the back. Uh, and she uh, turns around and begins kind of moving through the different uh, cabinets and such. And eventually pulls down three, essentially what look like test tubes. Um, each one with a cork stopper on the top. Uh, one of them has a sort of fizzy green... Uh, potion in it. Um, oh, more green stuff. <clears throat> and fizzy. Uh, one of them has a sort of very light blue, very faint blue. Um, a very... It, it seems almost the consistency of water, but it is a little bit slower, almost as though it's a little bit more viscous. And then the final one is another very light one, but this one's a slightly more of a magenta tone. Uh, these one, uh, these are kind of all I have right now. Um, the ones who sold this to me, she kind of uh, pulls a small pair of glasses down uh, and begins to kind of flip through a small notebook that was alongside it. Uh, this one here gives you some uh, bonuses to your speed. Uh, one helps you. Uh, this one 
uh, just says falling. Um, that's incredibly vague, but, and the other one is health. Okay. So okay. something that should make you a little bit faster, uh, help you, help your reflexes. Uh, one that, I don't know, maybe it makes you fall over or maybe it helps you, uh, if you get in a high up situation to catch up with others. And the other one is, well, standard little old uh, health potion. Uh, okay. And how much do you want for the falling potion that falling. will help you fall? Uh, I can, or... I'd be willing to part with this one for about 20 gold pieces. Want the gold for helping catch up with falling people? I do not understand. I uh, feather falling does the same thing. I, I know. I'm trying to. I'm I'm seeing if like they because they don't seem to know what this is, right? I'm seeing if they will basically just think of it as like a weird potion. That's just like, eh, you know. Oh, okay. Okay. I... Go ahead and roll me your choice of deception or diplomacy. Catch. Uh, diplomacy. Sure. What a deceive this nice person. 19. 19. Okay. I am um, very diplomatic. <laughs> I could... I, I, I can do something about that with you. Uh... I might be able to, since you're already customers and all, uh, I might be able to go in for 17, go down to 17. But do you not know what this potion does exactly? Like, um, for instance, uh, like, do you have specifics of, like, how it helps you catch up with falling people? Um... I it seems like a lot of gold for. I'm not much of the like adventurer that. type, uh, but I've seen things like this before where, like, if you are. I've heard about it. It's. Here, um, she kind of runs back to a shelf and grabs a book and kind of starts flipping through it. Um, if you read this part of here, it's sort of, it, from, from what they were saying, it's something that's sort of like this, and uh, the book that she kind of hands to you is a very flowery and dramatic retelling of um, stories of mages traveling the world and going on grand adventures, and... This the, is not an explanation exactly of what this potion does. On, I, I'm not done. <laughs> um, All right. And as a part of this one, a grand hero is falling, uh, chasing after a maiden who has been dropped by a dragon from hundreds of feet in the air. And they pull out of their, their satchel a potion and uh, – they drink it and it's they grow wings from their backs sporadically and how, immediately. How old is the shopkeep? <laughs> um, may, may I ask? Are they a child? <laughs> uh, they are on the younger side for sure. All right. They are. They are not a child, but they also don't have a lot of world experience. <laughs> um. That's okay. Fair. Um, so, like fourteen. <laughs> So, uh, I'm, I'm actually got smithing abilities, and I'm actually looking to buy stuff to make my own things. Oh. Do you have any materials that I, uh, might be able to to buy? I mean, we have some hammers. But she well, means like ingots, like the ingots, and the, you uh, know, maybe some leather to wrap the handle with. Uh, well, with the, the the spider's armor and stuff, or the spider's hide, I was hoping to make a few things. Okay. Um. We're confusing this poor person, aren't we? Are we? I. Hmm. 
I mean, we have some things that could be used in that way. I don't know if we have any. We we don't. We definitely don't have any just direct ingots right now. Um, okay. Uh, especially since the mines have been closed up recently. Right. Right. Um, I I can get you some maybe small rail spikes and a hammer if you want to start kind of like poking holes and things just to, to um begin sewing things together. Um. I'll take a few of those. Okay. Um, how much would that be? I'll go uh, one. Um, one. It, it essentially counts as a light hammer, but uh, one hammer and uh, let's say ten uh, spikes, and we'll go for one gold, five silver. Okay. Um, do you happen to know any details regarding the mine? Um, hang on a second. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I've, I've actually, uh, never been in there before. Um, okay. <sighs> Everyone I know who goes there comes back, so I mean that's a good thing. Uh, we haven't lost anyone in the mines. Well, that's good. Um, that is also can I just say that is the bare minimum of success. If if your if success is measured by mines and how much rewards you get back, having everyone return alive is the bare minimum. That is could be labeled success. That's you're you're right. You're right. That's fair. Um, what kind of mind it is specifically? Like, what are you digging out there? Uh, it's primarily different bits of iron, uh, iron and steel. Uh, we get a little bit of different uh, coals and such. Um, hmm. But it's so standard mine stuff. Yeah. We, it's it's not a gem mine or anything. A um, little bit of a musty smell. They've they I've heard about, um, but like it's nothing. So that if, might be a hint. If I go into this mine, will I be able to get some material from it? I mean, probably. Okay. I mean, I it, it didn't seem to be really letting up or drying up as far as what our uh didn't it didn't seem to be letting up anytime soon um well i guess i'm ready to go whenever you guys are i feel like uh i feel like the equipment here is kind of limited it's a it seems like a small place uh, not not to say any disrespect to you or or anything i was about to say that is kind of rude we're, we're still say. like in the store it's i mean no, no disrespect. It's okay. It, it's okay. You're rather small yourself. Oh. Oh. Fight, fight, fight. I'm just going to grab Tsubaki. Uh, like, probably <laughs> by, like, the forearms and, like, uh, thank you uh, very much. I will be so on our date now. So You'll glad. have a good day. I am so glad that I am much more of an adult than you will ever be. What is this? Bye -bye. This is a disagreement about nothing. Why are we fighting? Uh, I... He, I was being truthful and he was being spiteful. There's a difference. I am dragging Tsubaki out backwards I'm now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not buying anything else from this establishment. Goodbye. I am sorry for for her uh, rudeness. Uh, it's we'll make do. It's it's fine. Uh, it's it's an old family shop. We, we don't have a ton here. She's not wrong. Well, uh, there are more gentle ways to say that. I I, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good luck. 
Uh, yes, works to out. you as well. Boom, yep, hair. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, are we headed out towards the mine? Uh, yeah, I got what I wanted. Okay. I did not necessarily need anything here, so I'm ready if you all want to. Yep, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Okay. Let's head out then. Okay. Yeah. Let me pull up a map there. You pull the short jab. Really? <laughs> All right. I mean, you pulled it first. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just being honest. It's different. And so were they, if you look at it like that. Fine. <laughs> oh, it's the fog. Oh, yeah, fog of war. I have that up. Um, That's a thing. I forgot. Hang on a sec. Okay, so I have oh. you uh, right here at the mouth of the cave as it's beginning to head in. Um, it large jagged walls uh on the side it seems to sort of be a little bit of a funneled area um there are boxes and crates all around lining the walls um generally mismatched sorts of mining equipment here uh, a couple lanterns etc um, i grab a lantern so that we have light Okay. Um, there is no oil in it. Uh, there are small containers, but it has gone rancid. Uh, uh, I got. Why this, would I just light uh, a torch? That's fair. I, I I can also and I like create bonfire. Uh, like a little bit of moving flame on like a end of I don't know a stick or something. I'm lighting a torch. They do have torches that's there fair. that you can pick up. That's fair. Um. Okay. Any immediate signs of something weird? Uh, go ahead and roll me investigation or perception. Your choice. Uh, which is higher? Perceptivation. Investi um, investigation is higher. Natural 20! Hell yeah. Woo! Nice. Natural 20 plus 2. Yay, okay. It's all downhill from here. Uh. Okay, so let me go ahead and put in chat just kind of the everything that is in this area in all of these containers, so that way if you want to break it up, you can. Um, sure. Because there is a good bit of just kind of general adventuring gear. Um, there is also, uh, as you're looking around small bits of small rats that are kind of running around the entire area and once again you see they have this same sort of metallic silver texture to them with some ridges but also it's slightly moving and slightly animated in different ways um they just seem to kind of be running around scampering uh towards the end of this th the first part of this chamber as you're kind of going in here and lighting up your torches you do see the beginnings of a minecart track that runs deeper into the darkness of the cave. Um, there are a couple of carts that are lining on or on the sides of the tracks, just sitting around normal, uh, some bits of stone and uh, inside of them with, you can see that there are maybe small flecks of metals and materials inside of it that can be smelted down. Um, okay. <laughs> one moment while I go ahead and put this stuff in chat. Baki, you want these bits and bobs? Uh, what? What am I doing? I found some just like metal scrap. Oh yeah, yep. I definitely uh, I'm definitely gonna take some with me. Uh, 
here you go, and can I make a request for when you start smithing stuff? Yeah. Think you what? could make arrows? Yeah! I can, okay, I can perfect. do that. Wonderful. We just gotta grab some material out, in the, out of the forest that won't be that big a deal. Okay, sorry. Just finishing up. I was like, okay, I, I thought it was on my end. For, I was about to ask, is it silent for everyone else? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. It It's just the long pause between things. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. oh wow. Whoa. Um can, can we take all of this? I mean if you want to. I, I don't mind breaking it up for everyone. I don't don't think we need five lanterns. I I don't know what we would do with oxen yokes either. The manacles are interesting. I might take those and Anything that's metal we could use to break down. Uh, bird cages? Bird cages? Clearly they were doing the canary thing. Yep, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove a bunch of things in those cages and just take them with us. Any scrap metal and stuff? Um, the cages themselves are more or less pretty open. They, like, it's not, once again, enough for a bird to just slip through the bars, but it is... Um, on the lesser end of being very uh, well woven together. Okay. Oh, they're not metal cages. No, they are metal. It's just okay. Lots of space between the bars. Yes. So it, it would might wouldn't be a great carrying utensil for something other than a bird. Okay. Um. I think I'll pick up one of those hand axes. Ooh, torches are always a good thing. Does anybody need the rope? Rope is yeah, always rope useful. Uh, Ketch, do you want to grab the rope? Oh, sure. I was I was about to say I'm fine for now, but I I can I'll take it. Rope is always useful. Yeah. Then I think we're good. Okay. What type of rope is it, by the way? Is it like uh, hemp rope, silk? Is it like... It, it is a hempen rope. Okay. Um, one thing that you also note um, about this whole setup here, Zagra, um, is that a lot of this area seems pretty abandoned, and this all seems rather dusty. Just like there's been a collection of filth that kind of grows up and around it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Come back for some of this stuff on our way out. Yeah. Uh, yep. Like, yep, yep. Really old, though. I, from the sound of it, it sounded like the mine had been shut down recently. But... It's like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, kind of make it... They make it sound like they've been doing this for a while still. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Shall we follow the minecart tracks? I guess so. Well, here, let me go ahead and reveal the next part of the map. Cool. Let's... Just start moving forward. Forward? Okay. Forward. Onward and upward, I always say. 
Are you moving about stealthily or just kind of going straight in? The word is cautious. We are using caution as moving forward. Cautiously, but not sneakily. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a perception check then. All right. All of us. Perception. 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 Uh, uh nine. Nine. <laughs> Told you it's all nine. downhill from here. <laughs> I got a sixteen. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me roll for Zace. They rolled a natural one. That's not good. Um. That is, in fact, not good. MRET roll? Sure. That's a natural 19. Hey. Uh, you see Mari begin to kind of look around the chamber and kind of have a lower growl towards things. Um, you hear kind of a... Just as, like, small little connections across the bits of the ceiling... Um, when you kind of then flick the lantern up that way to kind of cast a light uh, directly on that area, it's gone. Um, but there is definitely something around here that's moving. Watch out for piercers. This would be the this would be the place to find a piercer. But I'm just going to keep going forward. Um, please go ahead and put yourself where you would be on the map at this point. I will go right here and check what might be maybe in here. Okay. Go ahead. Excuse me. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception or investigation check catch. Okay, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna I'm have a bit of a season fit. Uh, what was it, investigation or perception? Yep. Okay, that hey. is a 23. Dang, that's quite good. For investigation, specifically. Okay. Uh, That's the better one of the two, even. That was the lower DC of it. So, um, <laughs> as you are kind of looking your way around, right about, let me mark a, put a small mark of it on the map. Right about here, there is a, that's huge, a small, small ring kind of carved into the stone. Um, it is three, almost like a bullseye, uh, with different symbols inside of it. Um, and if you kind of tap on it, it sounds a little bit hollow. All right, I'll try twisting uh, or pulling it off, or pulling it up. It's carved directly into the stone. Uh, pushing it. Okay. It does not budge. Hmm. Uh, you said twisting it didn't do anything either? Nope. And this ring, is it like an, a, a ring ring for your finger, or is it like just a ring on the stone? It's about the stone. size of a dinner plate. Oh, okay. So something like looks like it could slot into it. It's sort of like sigillic patterns have been carved into it. Um, but with such a high investigation role, you actually would see here that there are no actual chip or chisel marks. Everything is at an even, uh, depth, uh, per the stone. And so it is all very well, very precisely put together. Okay. Uh, ah, shit, smash it. Smash it. I don't want to smash it. It look it is uh... okay. Uh, uh, can I cast identify on it real quick? Sure thing. Um, we're going to catch up with that in just a second. 
Uh, how long does Identify take to cast? Uh, depends on whether I'm using it as a ritual or not. Um, which, you know what? Uh, let's not use it as a ritual. I'll just do it. It's it's an action. Okay, so we're gonna hold off on hold on to that information for just a second. Uh, is All that right. where you are, Subaki, on the map? Um. Yes. Okay. Then, leader of the pack. That's a natural. God, God damn it. Why is it a natural 20? Yo. Why is it a natural 20? That's an excellent question that I don't have an answer for. Why is it always okay. a natural 20? It's happening again, Andrew. 20? Why is it always a natural 20? It's happening again. <laughs> Why is it always a natural 20 is not really a complaint. <laughs> like, I feel like in D&D &D terms, why is it always a natural 20? Like, is very low on the list of concerns. Does a 24 hit you, Zagra? Oh. Zagra? Why is it a natural 20? <laughs> oh, of course it's me! Yes! <laughs> why is it always Zagra? What is your beef with Zagra? What is I... Zagra? You are the furthest in the cave. Okay, okay. As as someone who this happened to literally last week, Andrew's not purposefully attacking Zagra. It just sometimes happens. Like with me and Jess. That's yeah, true. You do mess with Jess a lot. Not on purpose. I know, but... She always seems to be the target. <laughs> You were the farthest down in the cave. Uh, you take a total of seven points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. One second. Twenty-one. Okay, that is a success. Um, and uh, as you're kind of looking around and waving uh, the lantern, looking around at different things, um, coming up from behind you, you see this kind of writhing mass of silver and lots of legs underneath it as a... Uh, you would recognize it as a giant centipede kind of crawls down from the spire in the center and just kind of pinches onto you um breaking through parts of the armor and kind of and just kind of snagging at uh flesh and bone um once again uh everything is silver with the same kind of slightly plated slightly non-newtonian fluid sort of surface to it um oh. Okay, let me... Do we uh, roll initiative now, or...? Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of them take their surprise round. That one was moving up. As is this one here in the back. Uh, and you kind of just hear this large chittering of similar type of creatures moving forward to attack um so yes i need everyone to roll initiative initiative um i got a 13 that is a six for catch uh 15 okay and you said 13 subaki yeah we'll be right back Zace is going on a 14. Zace is 14, going on 15. We're about to get our butts kicked. Pretty much. They are really I... bad initiatives. I am back. Okay.
Uh, catch, what's your dexterity? My dex is plus two uh, or 14. Okay, what's your which hint? number you want. Are we doing this again, Andrew? You have the exact same dex and modifier as a giant centipede. We're doing this again, Andrew. Okay, my int? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than a centipede. If it's not, I'm scared. Uh, plus four or 18. Yeah, they have a one or minus five, so. Okay. Okay. And so now it is Zagra's turn. Okay. They rolled terrible initiatives. And you rolled okay. pretty average, but that's still really good and better than everyone. <laughs> uh, quarter staff attack on this one. Okay. Two handed. Two handed? Um. Ooh. Uh, that's just a flat 19. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Okay, and... Here it is. Yes! Uh, eight, nine, ten, twelve damage. Okay. Is it dead? Yes. You kind of go crack right into it, and you break through the chitinous shell, and it dies. Um, hey. That said, it uh, as it's dying, it kind of howls out this rather unnerving, uh, slightly gurgled, but chittery would be the right word to say, uh, death-rattling cry as it calls out a couple more. And, or at least okay. that attracts a couple more. Okay. Uh, Is it something like a... Uh, or like a... I don't know. It, th th there's a little bit of a trill to it, similar to what you were saying, but not quite exact. Way to back up a ways. Okay. Right there. And I think that shall be the end of my turn. Zace is going to rage and they're going to 5, 10, 15 okay they can get just up to number 2 here that's a natural 9 plus modifiers to hit uh, that will hit and glaive is a d10 plus that's a 10 so that's number 2 dead Okay, oh, that's not the right thing to do. Okay, uh, that is going to be Zace. Uh, Tsubaki. Yep. Um, I've decided to attack with my rapier. Uh, but uh, against one? what? <laughs> oh. Is it something attacking us? You're nowhere near anything. Oh. I guess I'm gonna move close enough. Uh, Desi, do you know that we have a map going on? I did not know it had changed this much. I was writing down notes for things. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah. Stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to move. Move? And attack the one closest here? That's dead. Oh. Well. My bad. Um, do you need to be healed? Yes, please. Yep, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal you. Uh, yep, I'm gonna cast Cure... Cure Wounds. First level. Okay. Uh, please roll me a d20 charisma, uh, sorry, constitution saving throw. 
DC. Twenty. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, I'm good. All's good. All right. Yep. I cured you. One D eight plus three. That's nine altogether. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Um. Basically, back up the pole. Number yeah. three is going to go. They're going okay, to charge up here and attack at Zace. That's a natural three. That's not going to hit no matter what. Um, and then they are going to scurry up and along the walls here and kind of try and get around. Zace is going to get an opportunity attack, and that's a natural 20. Finally, those are going in the party's favor tonight. Ooh, um, ooh. Yeah, yes. That's a one. <laughs> the damage die. So the, okay, uh, he kind of carves into the belly of this centipede as it's crawling up and around on the walls, uh, moving forward. But it is only going to get to about here. Um, Zagra. And Subaki, go ahead and roll me perception checks. All right. Perception. Uh, 17. 17. Twelve. Okay. I got a 12. Okay, 12. Um, so even though with his critical hit, Zeus did wound this centipede, you do see the silver that is melting kind of on the other ones beginning to kind of start flowing up towards it as it seems to be building itself out of the others so we're reconnecting some of the parts that are broken off of off of it from okay. zace's hit that's interesting gotcha um then number five is down here and that's going to move six spaces two three four five six and it's going to have to dash to get anywhere so that's going to be 5 10 15 20 25 30 to get it here and that's going to be the end of its turn because it can't do anything else um catch you are casting identify yes <laughs> okay and you are not burning are you burning an orrery with this or not uh i wasn't planning to okay. um I, I don't know does they was the identify going off before the they like surprise attacked us or was it after roughly the same like, time mid -thing. roughly okay. the same time gotcha gotcha uh so go ahead and roll me a d20 will do That is a, a 10. Okay. I'll be back. Um, you do not recognize any of the symbols in this uh, disc carved into the wall here. Um, but you have seen this sort of construction before. It is a ritual that is commonly used for concealing. Um, okay. So, once again, even though the actual language itself is beyond your understanding. Well, okay, hang on. What, what languages do you speak? I have to be sure. Excuse me. Uh, I speak uh, common, giant, and orc. Yeah, no. It, okay, this is not a language that you are familiar with. Yeah. Um, but you are familiar with the kind of general pattern and organization of the spell that is here. Um, and it is it is sort of a it is a spell for a temporary barrier. Okay. Does identify uh, ping anything else? No. Gotcha. Okay. Um noted. Uh 
Was that on my turn? Like, was identify my turn? That was your action. Okay. Um. In that case, um. Do 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 do. I'm back. Do, 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 Yay. Do, do. Uh, I'm just gonna walk right over here. Um, and just get prepared. <laughs> you know. Fair enough. Uh, number two's turn it is now. Number two is dead. Number one's turn is, uh, it's also dead. Um, okay. Number four's turn. And it's going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Go up here and scuttle and attack Zace. With a natural nine plus. Nope, that's a miss. Um. Okay, and you you see as it approaches uh, the carcasses of one and two, uh, the same silvery kind of goop begins to kind of drain off of them and right up into as a part of number four. Okay. Uh, but with that all done, it is... Zagra's turn. Lovely. Um. Attack number five. Okay. Uh, two hands on the quarter staff. Um. Let me do the math. Eighteen. Uh, that will hit. Uh, that's eight damage total. Okay, that is enough to crush it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Then I'll run up here and... and hmm. Let me just see. Uh, did you say something? Because it, it, it I think I'll. Oh. Um, I think I'll just do a regular unarmed strike against it. Okay. I was just looking at potential special things I could do. Mm -hmm. uh... I wasn't sure. It kind of sounded like my audio might have just completely died for a second. <laughs> Um, unnatural 20? Yes, that's going to hit. Uh, d4. That's six bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, you watch as... Six bludgeoning. Um... One second while I roll a die here. Okay, that's enough. Uh, you watch as as you kind of crack down into or upon this centipede here. Uh, the silver kind of begins to harden and rigid and become rigid right underneath where you are attacking down. And it just as soon as your fist hits, it just kind of begins to reverberate. Like you just punched it's, a metal door. It's doing that thing. Ow! It's it's doing the non Nickelodeon thing. Mm -hmm. It has bonuses. Um, Zace. Wow. Okay. Uh, is going to make an attack against it, and that will hit. Let me see if it gets its ability. As a reaction, that is not enough, so that's a whack against it. Okay, that is enough to kill it. And it just kind of splatters, and the splat is much larger, given that it was drawing the goop from the previous other dead ones around. Nice. Okay, Subaki. 
So yeah, I'm, I decided I'm going to uh, uh, get a little closer to number three, and then I'm going to uh, use my rapier and I'm going to attack him. Okay. The sixteen hit. Yep. All right. And then that was six, and then I'm going to use. Um, Bonus action. It doesn't get its uh silver strike or silver shield. So And then I'm gonna I'm gonna stab it again. Okay. Does a nineteen hit? Yep. Alright. And then I hit that one for nine altogether. Okay, Six. that is enough to kill it. Yay! Yay! And they're all dead right now. Yep. Yay! Do we harvest these or? Um. Cause that that shiny stuff on it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I would like to fill up a vial of the fluid. Okay. Cool. I'd, li I'd like to see if I can make some armor with some of the plating. Go ahead and roll me a medicine check. Medicine. Mm -hmm. it, for anyone who me. is going to try and harvest from it, medicine. Natural twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Four. Okay. Um, I'm not trying. Tsubaki, you are able to get a vial of the silver substance. Um, but as you learn in kind of collecting it and from seeing things that Sagra is working on, it is a slippery substance. It is very hard to get a hold of, even in enclosed spaces. Like, there is a lot of inertia in it. So if you attack it fast with, like, a vial or something to collect it, it will bounce right back out almost. And okay. at a point, it just becomes incredibly frustrating to deal with, and so you have to attack it very slowly to get it to pour into a vial, and then you can just kind of quickly put a stopper on it, and it seems to kind of shake up and bounce around in there uh, with the vibration from stopping that up. Okay. But yeah. uh, is that all I got out of it? Yep, you're able to get one vial of the silver solution. Okay. Anything else of interest on these guys? Um, go ahead and roll me uh, perception. Gen Since Subaki is kind of fishing for silver, and you were, you were having some trouble with it, so... You might have gotten a little bit further in, so maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, 11? 11. No, there doesn't seem to be anything really that unusual about it. Just a, a weird giant centipede. Weird giant centipede with like a silver mucus, mucus membrane around it. Okay, uh, should we go on? Yes. Okay. Ket, do you have any luck? You having any luck? The with uh, the the uh, with my little project over here. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. Yes. Uh no. <laughs> put to put it simple, no. I would really like to know exactly what it is for some sort of contain or uh, hiding uh, or containment or something um, maybe if I channel magic through it I, I do not know common gift sylvan deep speech thieves can't get do deep I get speech. anything deep speech deep speech oh um, it is a language 
Okay. Uh, I have Gnomish and Common. Um, go ahead and roll me an Arcana check, uh, Zagra. Okay. Uh, 16. 16, that's good. Um, okay, this is... Uh, while Ketch was able to kind of understand the basics of it, it is a kind of very standard ward. The specifics of it, however, are that it is... It's not a spell per se, but it is an enchantment of pass through. I think it's the best way of saying it. It is something that would be put on a weaker point in a structure or something that allows a, that when activated allows a creature or an individual to move through that wall to a point on the other side. It basically makes you one with the stone for a brief moment to pass through that gate. I'll explain this to catch. Oh. Alright. Um, do we just, like, push through it? Do we... Uh... I think you need to know a keyword. Would that be correct to say, Andrew? That's traditionally how a lot of them work. Okay. Is there any specifics as to what the carving is saying? And the spell magic spell may also work. May. Does anybody have comprehend languages? Well, I know it's deep speech. Um, it's less of a lang it's less of like written instructions, but it is like an arcane sigil. Um, okay. Like a an individual with spellcaster levels who learned spells in deep speech came through here and put this on the wall as a way to pass through it. Oh. Uh, why don't Look, this would have to go parallel with this, so why don't we try searching this area? Which space? Uh, this area would- it, there is like a tunnel here, right? There is not. Sorry, there's a small space where the fog of war uh, goes over it, so. Okay, uh, never mind then. For the sake of it, I'll go ahead and say that that, that, that is a thing that you can see. Well, okay. that you can't see, but would understand is there. There's a small ingress point where the pass wall is put in place. Um, could I, like, somehow determine how thick the wall is? Go ahead and roll me Dungeoneering. Okay. Um... Do we have Dungeoneering? Yep. There it is, okay. Man, I need to level up my wisdom. Uh, 12. Okay. Um, it, it's kind of hard to, like, knock on the wall and see if there's much on the other side. Like, you, you're able to understand that there is a hollow space over there. Uh, Ketch was able to knock and hear a little bit echoing in the chamber beforehand um but more for for you it comes from just understanding the sigil like this sigil can't really be used on anything that's thicker than five feet at the most so it, it's a jump of five feet or less essentially 
Okay. The wall is rather thin. Hey, Subaki, can I borrow that hammer? Um, yeah. Don't know how that's gonna... Okay, here. I smash it against the wall. Okay, go ahead and roll me a strength check. Uh, athletics, if you would... If you have proficiency. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes! Uh, 22. Okay, 22. Yeah, you are able to knock into it, and you're starting to deal some damage to the wall. Um, Each subsequent attack with the hammer begins knocking out more and more until you're able to punch through a humanoid-sized hole in the wall. It takes about, probably about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, but even with this small hammer, you're able to just kind of continually keep striking and breaking it down. I need, uh, if Ketch is going to be there, I need you to roll me a perception check. Uh, Okay. That is 13 for perception. Okay. You hear uh, the sound of the hammer echoing throughout the chamber. It is hitting repeat is striking repeatedly and there are echoes everywhere coming from both sides of the wall and going down different corridors and such. All right. And you uh, hear so a is... faint whistle. Um like I do not want to alarm faint. anyone. But there is a whistle that was has gone off in the distance at somewhere. It might be. Uh, what, what what kind of whistle was it? Was it just like a slow whistle? Was it like a like a sort of come here whistle? Was it like a a dog whistle? Um, go ahead and roll me an Arcana check. Oh, Arcana, interesting. Um, well, you see, uh, I got a seven. Okay. Just a very faint, very high pitched whistle seemingly from very deep within the chamber just riding it and rolling on the breeze it, it was oh, yeah. it, next to imperceptible with the sound of the clanging of the hammers and there there's even a moment when you think it could just be the vibrations of the hammer okay i'm i'm gonna bring it up to to people um uh and like see if anyone else can like hear it uh, if we like stop hammering for a sec maybe it's like continuous do we hear it? Go ahead and roll me a perception. Everyone can. Uh, 12. Okay. You want me to roll again? You're welcome to. Okay, I got a 4. <laughs> I got an 18. Uh, none of you hear it. Okay. Okay. It... Once the echoes begin to subside... Uh, subside... Uh, recede portmanteau of two words Um, it is generally quiet shall we guess so alright let you take the lead oh okay I will take the lead. Look, I'm sorry, but you're less squishy than I am. Uh, I he... am cursed. All right. To be fair, you are also normally in the front, so whenever we do get surprised, it is usually you who it uh, is. gets gets the brunt force of things. Thanks, you coming? Uh, yes, Zace will come. I'm sorry, I just wasn't moved. I hadn't moved their token. Uh, the hole is a little too small for Mari. Uh, you, you well, Zace would probably be able to pick them up and get them through, so. Yeah, okay, you're able to get them through. <laughs> Andrew really be like, ah, right, fair. Yeah, fair. yeah no, 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 it's fair. It's yeah, fair. Yeah. I have to play by the rules and be kind once in a while. <laughs> anything 
Uh, do I see anything? I'm uh, I am right here. Looking left, right, before um, I cross the street, you know? Go ahead is and it, roll me. It, I'm like, is it dark in here? Because I know I have dark vision. It is very dark. I have a torch. That is true. Um, As you're kind oh, of looking have... around, this <laughs> chamber off to the side, uh, you see a small piles of books. Some okay. information. Um, just kind of randomly scattered about um did you ask for a perception check or did i imagine that? uh perception or investigation oh okay uh, um investigation i believe is my better hey i got a nat 20 plus 6 26 oh no i what know where everything uh, is <laughs> for paid Okay, my tiny dice. Okay, good. It didn't disappear into the void. Tiny dice. Uh, Twenty plus six. Okay. One second as I pull up some things here. All right. All the things. Pull up all the things, if you will. A lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, all I don't the, want this. Email. I, I don't want to sign up for this person's email address. Hang on. Uh, How do you sign up for someone else's email address? I don't. E no, email list. Oh, oh, email list. Got it. Yeah, I, I was just trying to find a stat block, which is, for some reason, being really difficult today. That's concerning. Oh, there it is. Okay. Tiny dice. Oh. Teeny tiny. Okay. As I you are them. looking around Ketch, inspecting everything very closely, uh, you do notice the small pile of books. Uh, there are tools kind of lining up against the wall and everywhere. Uh, do you have dark vision? I do. Okay. That is what is going to help you the most here. Um, oh, that's not me. What do my orcish eyes see? Um, kind of before Zagra comes around with the torch, you see almost for a the quickest second a faintish red glow in the chamber. At a couple different points within it, and then as soon as the torch comes, it's just completely gone. Mm. Hey, uh, uh, t t can you uh, lid the torch for a second? Lid the torch? Uh, p put it out for for just a a second. Uh, sure. I I want to catch up with catch. I did not Go mean on. that to sound punful. Uh, is the red stuff back? Nope. Oh. Can I relight There's... it now? Yes, sorry. I thought I saw something. Did I see oh. it? Uh, you were in the back, so go ahead and roll me perception at disadvantage. Okay. Um, what language are the books written in? So, I got a nine. Nine? No, you don't see anything. Okay. Uh, the languages of the books. There is one in Sylvan. There hey, are cool. three in Deep Speech. Cool. Uh, there is one in Quaileth. Uh, uh, nope. There are um, three in Dwarvish. And there is um, one in Draconic. Okay, I'm going to look at the... Sylvan and Deep Speech ones in particular, were they... What books are they? Um, the one in Sylvan is a... You, you get from it a general understanding that it is about the nature of the planes. Okay. And just kind of areas where there are different weak points and 
uh, and small myths and rumors about people who might have passed through different areas. I'm going to take it. Okay. Uh, the ones in deep speech are a lot less eloquent, I should also add. Um, but it is... Wish, it, wish I would have listened to my cousin when I had the chance. Um, they are rather utilitarian manuals. Uh, one for arcane rituals, not necessarily a spell book, but more of a, an actual ritual book. Um, okay. One for the proper care and upkeep of your human society. <laughs> and one of local flora and fauna to this realm, to this plane. Um, I'm going to pick up the local flora and fauna book. Okay. And what was that first one? Um, it was a ritual book. Um, I'll read some passages out to catch and see if in common. If it's like, demon try, ritual or if it's like, magic ritual. I tried to translate them for catch and see if they catch was I. Um, there is, it's arcane in nature. Um, a lot of it is muddled. There's some incompleteness to it. There are, it, it almost seems like whoever was writing the book was tinkering with things. Um, was trying different things out, was combining different spell effects with one another. And they got somewhere with some of them, and they didn't get somewhere with others. And there are occasionally some sidebar notes. It almost so, seems like so they're talking is, with themselves a couple of the time. It is magic ritual, not, not like demon ritual. It is arcane in nature, yes. Okay. Oh, I'm taking that one with me, too. Let's do it. Oh. So, uh, besides the books and like everything, say, is there anything else in the room that's uh... find a new place to put my inventory? This is getting ridiculous. Um, I would very much like to find maybe a dimensional house or something. Hey, hey, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, is Zer around in here? No. Uh, Zer Katira. Nope. Ah, oh, dang it. I, I hear Zer's working on a dimensional house. <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah. Uh, no, um, no, no. Um, at least a bag of holding. So. Hang on a second. Let me roll some dice. You get a bag of holding. If only. Amazing. <laughs> okay. I won't be that lucky. So first up is going to be a stealth check. Okay. Uh, who here has a passive perception higher than a 16? Where would you find passive perception? 10 plus your perception modifier. Very bottom of skills. And also, no. Uh, 12 is my passive perception. Okay. I don't, I still don't know. What's your perception uh, modifier? Perception? Mm -hmm. It's wisdom plus two. So, it, so is it plus two or your wisdom plus two? It's wisdom plus two, or, yeah. Just plus two. Okay. okay, just plus two. So it's 12. Oh, it's 12. Okay. Okay. Uh... No one notices anything. Bum, bum, That's concerning. Bum. 
We're all like in this area, right? Go. You can go ahead and put yourselves in where you are. Uh. Uh, I didn't really leave past here, um, like ish. I'm I'm sort of scouting, making sure nothing's coming down from this way or coming from behind us. I'm I... just looking around for useful objects and interesting things. I can't read any of the books, so. Etch, I'm sorry, but judging by what Andrew just had us do, you're doing a shit job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, for the sake of it, uh, I, I you don't know where you put your token, Zagra, but the creature did move since then. But like when, when you see the video, it'll just be funny. Um, mm -hmm. so, Am I in range of the thing? Oh yeah, everyone is. That's not a thing. That's not a worry. Am I next to the thing? Uh, it, it was move. It would have moved by then, but like where the token was. <laughs> it's always you. You chose the spot. It was so funny. Um, I guess, I guess okay. it's always my caution to be to stay back just a little bit. I don't. I don't know why. And I'm. I'm just usually in the middle. Okay, as you are making your way around and kind of looking I'm around in the area, I'm a melee fighter. You see another I... pass wall immediately erupt. <laughs> Oop, that's a terrible line. Immediately erupt right here in front of the door. A what? A what erupt? Another pass wall. Uh, shit. And catch, you have one chance. Go ahead and roll me perception with disadvantage. Ooh. Uh, oh I wait, is this way? wall opaque or is it like? It is like a stone wall, with the same yeah. uh, circular sigil right in the middle. Okay, my perception, I got twenty-one total. Okay, you see something flying quickly down the corridor, and you see that small trail of red again. Uh, which corridor? This one or yep. this one? Uh, right down away the way you had not gone this one mm -hmm. as though something had quickly cast a spell it dispelled their um invisibility and they put up the pass wall and they're okay moving further into i'm the going chamber. to bonus action uh misty step to where? right wherever they so i assume i saw them based on line of sight go from about right here right okay that's about where i saw them so i'm going to just take a quick half step forward and get right here, technically, hopefully, before they get there and stop them. Okay. So I'm going to bamf right here. Uh, maybe they'll even run into me, I don't know. Um, and then... Uh... <laughs> Um, and let me just check what I can do. Uh, you know what? On the off, off, off chance it works, I'm going to cast uh, Sleep at second level. Um, all right, Interesting. Me. Interesting. Okay. Catch, go ahead and roll me a d8, please. A single d8? Yep. Okay. The single d8 is uh, six. I almost said nine, but then I was like, that doesn't make sense. Okay. You cast the sleep spell right into... Please draw on the map where you put the area. So, just to be safe, like, uh, hold on, how, the, the range of it is 90, or sorry, 20 feet, uh, 20 feet, and I can put it any 90 feet ahead of me. So, theoretically, I saw them right here, go this way, and immediately misty stepped right here. 
So I am going to put it basically on me, um, essentially. Thus getting, hold on, let me draw the area that it would affect. It would go five. Uh, I need to center this so it makes sense. There we go. Five, ten. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. About there, I think, is twenty. Okay. Let me just make sure. Oh, that's not. That is not twenty. Hold on. Oh, I yeah, I grossly underestimated you, what you, twenty you was. You're about to short yourself. About there, I think is. Uh, that's right. better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And it's going to affect that area. Hmm. I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Okay. Saving throw. Yep. Got it. Uh, 21. That is a success. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll me a perception check now. Okay. When are, when are we going to get into that sleep spell? <laughs> um, perception check, you say? Mm -hmm. That is a four. You hear that faint... Well, no, you don't hear anything. Never mind. A four? Perception? Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so I assume the spell didn't work because I didn't roll. Uh, Go ahead and roll. I know it's. I mean, I, I assume because like it, there was no roll cat, like it's fine. Yeah, there, there's um, nothing in that area. Yeah. I uh. Okay. Um. And I don't see any like bodies all of a sudden appear or anything, so it's just nope. like, well, dang. Uh. I'll. So is this closed now? Yep. That is a stone okay. wall. Fair, fair. Seems to kind of grow um, completely naturally with the shape of the rock around it. And right in the center of it is that same circular sigil. Got it. So, assuming, assume me, uh, this is like a spell they either cast this way or it, there's something over here that is going on. Or maybe they just have like a switch. I don't know. I uh, grab me. There we go. Uh, I'm going to just investigate this corridor uh, like here. Um, and see if there's any switches or other, like, plates. Okay. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Cool, cool. Uh, that is an 18. There are no switches. There are no plates. Got it. Um, are you, you do notice in there? is that there is a slight stickiness to the walls. Um, ooh. Like, back uh, over here? Yeah. I mean, kind yeah. of generally ar along the entire thing, along both sides of the walls on all angles, but very slight. Um, it's a little oh, bit cold that, to I the touch. That. I noticed that. A little bit damp, but not quite. Not not horribly unusual. It's just very much in stark contrast with the dusty, dry bits of the all earlier right. part of the cave. Really really quick i'm going to cast fire bolts at like the center of the dampness okay why well, anything happen nope okay i'm going to cast fire bolts a few more times as i'm walking down the corridor uh at any of the like damp nope uh, nothing just just being safe you know yep um gelatinous cubes are, are yeah are you too okay in there are it sounds you... like Ketch is whispering on the other side of the wall. He's Are you two okay in there? He's basically screaming at a stone wall, and you're hearing very small echoes of the reverberation on the other side. It's very hard to hear. Uh, I think so. Do we do we know if we're okay? Is something attacking us in here? I, I kind of made the distinct impression we got locked in with something. Uh, 
Um, it I'm does just seem not going to move because I feel like if I move, I'm going to put myself <laughs> on top of something. <laughs> You're it moved. You, you are you are currently surrounded by pitfalls. <laughs> There's only one safe way out, and it down. is down. Um, as far well, I have dark vision, so can I see in the room? Yep. Uh, do I see anything? Nope. Okay. Um. <laughs> As far as I can tell, there's nothing going on. All right. I'm gonna start uh, going through that deep speech or kind of ritual book to see if I can find a way to counteract this. Okay. Go ahead and roll me an intelligence uh, check. Um, I'm I'm okay at these. Uh, that's a 12. Okay. Okay. Um, you are able to find a page that has similar markings. Okay, um, cool. It doesn't give you anything of how to dispel it. Unless you are the caster. It's something that, that the caster can put up and take down. Only the caster. Okay. Unless you have like dispel magic and such, um, or you want to break your way through whatever material they are emulating with the wall, it's designed to be just a quick thing to throw up and run away. I can smash it again. That's fair. Um, uh, do you know what? Uh, let's try it. Um, I'm also going to ask, like, um, Zace to see if they want to participate at the smashing. They will help smash. Yeah. Zace will help smash. I okay. smash. I also smash. Catch. Go ahead and roll me an Arcana check. Uh, Zagra, also go ahead and roll me Arcana. Okay. Oh, did you ask me to roll Arcana? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Or investigation. For some reason, I didn't, I didn't register that you were talking to me. Investigation um, on your side, catch, or Arcana. Or 11. just Arcana. I'll, I'll go me. investigation. Okay. Um, 11? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 13 for Arcana. 13 for Arcana? Okay. Um, yeah, no. It, it looks very similar, and you don't speak deep speech, so you don't know exactly the whole way of doing the writings. So, yeah. You can go ahead and bring the wall down. Uh-oh, I'm disconnecting, I think. Can we hear us? Oh, okay. I don't think he can hear us. I, oh, hear it, it was just dropping off for a second. I, I just got back. Yeah, no. Um, gotcha. Catch, you don't get anything different. Uh, same with you, Zagra. Um, no, we, we heard. Okay. okay. We heard that, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We, we could hear you during that whole time. Awesome. Yeah, no, it wasn't letting me hear you. Gotcha. Good old Wi Fi. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Smash the wall. Okay. Uh, what were you saying, Subaki? Yeah, so I was like, did the wall get smashed? The wall gets smashed. You can get out. Yay! Oh, okay. Freedom! I mean, you, you have smashed a stone wall before. You now roughly know how thick it is. It is reasonable to assume that you can with enough time and effort put into it. <laughs> with enough time, effort, elbow grease, anything is possible. Faith, trust, and peace. Do you tell us about you the mean? thing you saw, Go. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll gladly mention it. It's weird. Uh, some small red dot, like a... I don't know if laser pointers are a thing, but sort of like that. Um, let's... Uh, I guess we can just continue down the dark, creepy tunnel after the thing we don't know. 
Yeah. Creepy tunnel. <laughs> Creepy tunnel. And a, I, see, and it's I, a secret I, tunnel. I am going to go first this time. I'm going to go first. I will do it. I will okay. go first will... for you. Fair enough. I'll I'll follow behind. Okay. I'm more of a mid-range fighter. <laughs> I'm a bard, but I like to attack things too. So this doesn't seem wise having you in front. It, it is liking to play. It does like to play coy, so it would. Sorry, and you I'm are you are to... technically the mm. healer. I'm. I actually do a little bit of everything. I heal. I know that's I, that's what I'm saying. I, you, but you're the only one who has the ability to heal. I'll be fine. If, I'm I not believe. A, I'm not that squishy. That's fair. All right. Okay. Um, how far into the tunnel do you guys go? I'm gonna go to here. To there? Okay. Yeah. Um. You sound so surprised. I just needed to make sure I can get get people within range. <laughs> this is not hard. I, I didn't want to get too difficult. close to the dark, smoggy areas that we can't see. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, I'm a cautious person. Okay. Sometimes. Um. First thing I need you to do, Subaki, is roll me a d8. Okay. Choose your fate. If you had the ability oh, to change on, your shape, <laughs> would you? I got, an, I got a six. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a strength saving throw. Uh, I got an eight. Okay. You watch as Subaki is leading you down this corridor here, and then all of a sudden they just stop. They kind of begin to Moving float or... up into the air, just held in place. Okay, oh, um, this isn't. Uh, this is not pleasant. I don't like this. Okay, we'll leave that up. Uh, she just saw the ceiling now. Aunt not Royal? not on the ceiling, just held. I'm. I'm. I'm being held captive. Mid Essentially, like you have the hold creature spell on you. Mm. Okay. Hold creature can lift things. When done by certain practitioners. Dang. You have to have a. There are other things at play than just hold person, but I'm not getting into that. I, no, I, start, I, I start trying to act like I'm about to swim, you know, like I'm swimming through midair, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, 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 uh. Fun, fun. Uh, At some point, I take out my, my violin and start rowing, you know? Catch and Tsubaki, go ahead and roll me perception checks. All right. All right, all right, perception. 17. Okay. Nat 20 Dang. plus two. You both hear that same kind of faint whistling sound again. Oh, I hear it this time. <laughs> what oh. about me? Um, go ahead and roll perception. Why not? Okay. Do I know exactly where it's coming from or? Uh, it's, it's a little bit sourceless. It's coming from the area in front of you. Uh, 14. 14. Yes, you do hear it, but it's a little bit delayed almost. Catch, go ahead okay. and roll me an Arcana check. All right. That is 21. It almost sounds like a slight rushing of energy. Okay. Like I, I, someone I assume, casting a spell. I assume everything in this is run by whistle, whistle magic or whatnot. Um... All right. Ooh, as I am a bard, I start whistling in the very same tone. Okay. Is it all still goopy? Um, yes, go ahead and roll me perception, uh, since you are looking into that now. Oh, whoops. Perception! Uh, that's a 16. It is a silver kind of goop. 
Ah, like the Centipede. guys outside, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that the people. I was assuming. Okay. As I said, I, I'm going to start whistling in the very same tone as the the person uh or individual. Okay. Um eventually the spell's effect ends and you kind of just start fall and you fall to the ground. Oh, okay. So we Are we being are we being hashtag kerpranked right now? Cause like that it's not hurting us. Yet. I mean like Well I'm going going forward. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming with uh me. same, same. Let me go ahead and open up the next chamber here. Oh my! Oh, I would have just gone down, and we'd have been fine. Well, that's interesting. You hear kind of a large roaring sound as something begins to kind of start pounding up and pouncing towards you guys. Oh, hello! And that's where we're gonna pause for tonight, since mm -hmm. it is time. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, that can't be doing the thing. Next time on Dragon Ball Dungeon. I don't think that thing could be doing a thing. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a fun fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know anything about Otiogs. Um. We'll learn together. But I highly doubt that thing has spells. Never know. You never know. Alright, see you guys. Yep, see you guys. See ya. See ya. Adieu. Adios. Avidosan. <laughs>